And the second fight of the night, we got Priscilla Zombie Girl Cachoeira taking on Jasmine Jazuda Vicious. And don't have a real technical breakdown for this one or anything, but definitely leaning towards uh, Jazuda Vicious. She's minus 400, so at that line, I definitely wouldn't say to go run to the betting window on her. I think that that line's way too wide, personally. But I feel like she's going to get the job done. I mean, you look at stylistically... What type of fighters have given Priscilla Cachoeira the most issues? And it's all been grapplers. And that's exactly what she's getting into Zuda Vicious. You look at Priscilla's last fight with Miranda Maverick. She got submitted. She got submitted by Jillian Robertson. She got finished on the ground against Valentina. So historically, she's really struggled with girls that can take her down, that can get in dominant positions. And she tends to give up the finishes. Um, but with Zuda Vicious... We got a tall grappler, which I think that helps in this fight because she's going to be able to get a hold of Priscilla Cachoeira, potentially use her kicks, back her up, and then get her against the cage before she has to kind of engage in that pocket battle. And um, that's where Cachoeira is really the most dangerous and really her only path to victory in most of these fights. She has to get these girls to get in the pocket with her where she can wing bombs and if you brawl with her, she has crazy knockout power. I mean, Ariane Lipsky, a girl that is doing really good right now, learned that the hard way with Priscilla. She went in there, she brawled with her, got clipped, got put down, got knocked out. So that's not what you want to do. If you want to sit in there and go punch for punch, for punch with Cachoeira, she can eat all your shots and she probably will end up knocking you out. But if you fight smart, you use your distance control, you take her down, I don't see how... Jujuda Vicious loses this fight. I think if she can implement the wrestling, she's going to have a huge advantage when she gets on top. She's not going to give up position. She should be able to get the takedowns pretty easily. I'm not worried about Jujuda Vicious being someone that gets tired and Cachoeira could take advantage of that, which she's done against certain opponents. Jujuda Vicious usually has really good cardio. And the only downfall with Jujuda Vicious is she takes a lot of shots to come inside. And she definitely is tenacious and tough, but she relies on her chin and eventually that could be her downfall and she could get knocked out. But I just feel like that's not as likely as her going out here and dominating this fight on the ground. So personally, I feel like she's going to be able to get in these dominant positions with her ground and pound and maybe a crucifix or something like that and end the fight in the second or third round. I think she'll wear on Cachoeira and then get her out of there on the ground. So give me Jasmine Zuda Vicious to get the finish inside the distance here.